Hey guys, it's Jen from Beauty Riot X, and today we are doing our Battle of the Boxes. We have BoxyCharm versus Ipsy's Glam Bag Plus. They're very similar in price and in like the contents, I guess you could say. They don't have the same things, but you know what I mean. Like it's kind of the same bang for your buck in each box. <laughs> today we have BoxyCharm and the theme for this box is Afterglow. And the first thing I see is a product I'm very familiar with already. This is the Touch and Soul Smooth and Pore Covering Top secret for perfect makeup, no pore bloom primer. The name of it is actually just no pore bloom primer, but I decided to read everything else in the bottle. I actually already have this and it's stuck, so I'm not going to show you. All right, so this creates a seamless canvas for your foundation with your new Touch and Soul primer. The light silky texture blurs pores and wrinkles, giving you a skin as soft as velvet feel. Green tea, collagen act as adhesives, holding on tight to your makeup for many hours of flawlessness. I don't like silicone primers, and this is like a silicone-y kind of primer, but it's not, it doesn't feel like one, and that's kind of why I like it. I like the more lotion-y feeling one, and whereas this does feel like silicone, it doesn't have that like slippery, greasy feeling that silicones tend to have. So yeah, this is a really cool product to get in here. All right, ugh, no. I don't like, I don't like these. I'm tempted to open it and smell it because the, okay. The formula for these lotions are phenomenal. I put this on, like I had the original one, the Bum Bum Cream, Boom Boom Cream, whatever the hell it's called. I put it on and it felt like my skin just felt amazing. It didn't feel greasy. It just felt like hydrated and soft and amazing. The smell of the original one made me want to vomit. Like it smelled like, it smells the way I describe the Physician's Formula Butter Paradise fucking perfume. It smells like, a vanilla air freshener that you would find in a public bathroom. So this is a different one. This is the Coca Cabana cream. And you know what? I don't think this is the same scent, so I'm going to smell it because the, like I said, the formula is so amazing. Maybe this one will smell better. I don't know. I know everybody loved the other one. I didn't though. I thought it smelled horrible. Oh, oh, this smells nice. This is more of like a coconutty kind of smell and it looks like a gel. So you know what? I will definitely use this and I will tell you I will tell you in the comments below how I like it, but the smell is a bit better. Oh, the next thing I'm very excited about, this is the Nude Sticks Magnetic Luminous Eye Color in Copper Foil. Mm. I love Nude Sticks. If you've never seen my channel before, I love Nude Sticks. Besides Nude Sticks, fucking call me. I've never tried any of their eye things before, so I'm kind of excited. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This alone is worth the price of your box. The next thing in here, oh, is the Better Than Sex Mascara. I know a lot of people love this. I didn't love this. I mean, it's just a mascara for me. So I'm gonna save this for a giveaway because I know some people like die for this. And the last thing in here, oh, I was about to be disappointed. I thought it was an, another pretty vulgar blush, but it is actually a pretty vulgar bronzer. Oh, that's a nice color too. That feels great. Okay, I'm definitely going to try this in an upcoming video but I'm kind of in the middle of a project pan where I'm trying to finish up my butter bronzer. I'm close, but not quite there. But I will definitely use this in a new, trying on new products video coming up. All right, so that was a great box. So Ipsy, the ball's in your court. Hold on. Before I do that, I'm actually going to unbox something else really quick. My friend Ailey always sends me like fun stuff to try on my channel. And this month she sent me something from Menagerie Cosmetics. I know. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh, Ooh. Ellie, you bitch. Ooh. Just wait. Called the Feral Palette. <laughs> this is heavy as shit, let me just say. And I will be using this in a video that I'll be filming tomorrow. Oh my God, that fucking green. Oh my God. Ellie, you're the best. She's the best. And really quick, just. <laughs> oh, All right, now we can get dipped. And here's the card, I'm not going to open it. The first thing I see in here is, oh, oh! Oh, this is like from one of Tony Moly's skincare lines. This is the Chalk Chalk Green Tea Watery Essence. I love a good essence. And Tony Moly is pretty awesome in my opinion, so I'm pretty psyched about that. <sighs> Tarte Palette. This is not a big hit with me last month for BoxyCharm. This isn't a circular one, but this is pretty. This is pretty, but I will never use this. There's only two mattes in it and the rest are either satin or metallic. It is actually better than their circular ones because I hate those fucking things. This is pretty though, but I'm gonna save it for a giveaway because I don't tend to reach for like small palettes like this. So. Oh, fun. 
Again, this is gonna go on a giveaway. This is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. I already have this. It's like one of my favorite products, so I'm gonna give this away as well to somebody else who has never tried it. The next is, this is a lipstick by Finding Ferdinand, and it's Knob Hill Red. Mm. Ooh, that's very pretty. It is actually kind of, has a smidge of like an orange tinge to it. All right, we're gonna do a little swatch. Mm. It's a little, it's not as opaque as I would like, but I'm still gonna give it a try. And, and the last thing in here is, it's from IT Cosmetics and it is a foundation brush. It is the Heavenly Luxe Flat Top Buffing Foundation Brush. Cool. And I mean, I don't really reach for brushes for foundations, but I just actually tried this Marc Jacobs brush. Now these aren't the same kind of brush, but I loved this, so I'm gonna try to try a few more brushes now for foundation. So I'm definitely going to give this a try. Cool. All right, so let's see. Okay, I know this isn't too fair, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I think both boxes were really good. I'm gonna put it this way, okay? Both boxes had things that I'm putting in giveaways because I either had doubles of them or I knew I wouldn't use it. So out of the things that I'm keeping from both boxes, I'm gonna say it's a tie. I don't think either box like sucked this month. So that's pretty awesome. So congratulations, Boxy Charm and Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. You did it, world's best cup of coffee. So thank you guys so much for watching my Battle of the Boxes this month. Stay tuned for next month battle between Boxy Charm and Ipsy Plus. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.